<laughs> okay, so um, there was there was a line. I went. I was reading through the presentation tonight, and I came to a line that I've read a hundred times. And um, when I read it tonight, I thought, you know, I should stop right there and explain this a little further, something like that. It was like, um, you know, this, this is just so important what we have here. This really is a significant breakthrough. I mean, absolutely at the very heart and root of the body's ability to heal itself. And isn't anything more important than that. And I'll just use that as the segue to our testimonials. So I believe I am recording, and so we're going to go to Snow Hill, North Carolina, where Mary Margaret Donahoe is going to share a testimonial. Thank you, Russell. And Russell, I just have to say that I love what you added to the presentation. Um, I'd like to Thank get you. with you tomorrow and see if you can send that to me, because I feel like I need to read it every day. Okay. Thank you. So, um, as Russell said, I'm in Snow Hill, North Carolina, and I want to share my uh, testimony and segue into a testimony that was shared on the Charge Up call yesterday. Um, last year, I um, broke my ankle and um, was taken to the ER and was told that it was broken in three places. And the doctor thought, of course, that I needed surgery whenever I went to see the orthopedic three days later. Um, but I challenged that. And I told him I didn't think I needed surgery. I thought I just needed a cast. And of course, whenever he did the x-ray for me, um, he saw that I actually did not need surgery that um, my bones had already started knitting back together. Um, he also told me at the time that it would be about 12 weeks before I would be able to walk on that ankle. But um, as time went on, it proved that in six weeks' time, I was able to walk on my ankle and was released from the doctor. So... Um, that was astounding to me. I had already had breakthroughs over and over again, you know, with ASEA, but this was phenomenal. Um, and it was not only phenomenal for me in a physical way, but it was also phenomenal in a financial way because it would have cost me $23,000 to have the surgery. And um, I tell you, I did not spend $23,000 on a SIA drinking a bottle a day for three weeks. <laughs> um, so I'm very thankful for that aspect. And, um, and it was just remarkable to me to sit yesterday and listen to the charge up call. And someone else, a traveling nurse that actually broke her arm and within six weeks time, hers had healed and they had just put her in a cast um, and we're going to do something else two weeks later. And so it's phenomenal what um, ASEA uh, empowers our body to do. And so thank you, Russell, for allowing me to share that tonight. Yeah, thank you, Mary Margaret. That's a remarkable story. Thanks for pointing that out. I try to point that out in the presentation. Our body actually has the ability to heal itself in remarkable ways. And all, all <laughs> what ASEA is doing is replenishing these vital molecules that allow the body to do what it's totally capable of doing at an accelerated rate, restoring it back to normal levels. So everybody needs to learn about this for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Margaret. Yes. And so now we're going to go to Lexington, Kentucky, where our friend Beth Wafford is going to share a testimonial. Oh, uh, sorry, Beth. Just unmute. 
Yeah, yep, go. I got all ready to get my testimonial up in front of me and I forgot to unmute myself, sorry. <laughs> okay, um, again, one of the wonderful things about this, about our network, or I see a network, or I see a family, is how we share stories back and forth. And it's just one of the things that just keeps us lit up all the time. And one of the recent ones that came across my inbox um, was the following. Um, this is a lady, I don't know who the lady is. I'm not personally acquainted with her, but it's a wonderful story. She writes, I am an, a CNHP, a certified natural health practitioner a, and licensed esthetician and have been for over 20 years. My philosophy has always been that God designed our bodies to work in a certain way. And if we work with that design, that is how we will get the best long-term results. I have always been a very active, energetic person, loved working out and challenging myself. Eight years ago, my health began, to began failing me. My energy level was significantly diminished. I developed all kinds of food sensitivities, weight gain, body pain, muscle weakness, and my overall health continued to decline. I was chronically fatigued. I had always been a social person. I could barely muster, muster up the energy to get together with family on holidays, let alone anything else. It significantly impacted the quality of my life and lives of my husband and son as well. I then received a diagnosis of an autoimmune condition affecting my thyroid from a wonderful integrative MD. For many years, I worked with many natural things to support adrenal thyroid gut health, but they were not fixing the problem. My health continued to decline and I continued to gain weight despite the very disciplined diet and exercise. And the fatigue, body aches, and pain progressed. My brilliant husband, Bruce Cooper, who edu whose educational background is in human biology and naturopathy, kept saying, you have mitochondrial dysfunction. Something is not working on a cellular level. And thank you for Russell for connecting the dots for us so we understood how that, what that means. As we pressed on looking for a cellular solution, we were introduced to Dr. Dan Pompa's work with cellular detoxification and cellular health. Dr. Pompa recommended ASEA as he has used it for many health challenged patients and their situations had improved. That was October of 2016, and I'm here to tell you, ASEA has been a huge part of my healing journey. I have my life back. There is so much purpose to fulfill, and now I have the energy to fulfill it. I cannot begin to tell you what a gift we have to share with ASEA. If you don't have a personal story with ASEA to share yet, please use mine. There are a lot of suffering for many years. There was a lot of suffering for many years before this discovery. I would love to know that it will now be able to help others. A bonus, I could go on for days about all the improvements I've seen with my clients as well, not only with ASEA, but Renew28 as I encounter many skin challenges in my practice. Oh, I just loved that. I thought, you know, she's just sharing from her heart. And she is now has her life back. And I know my our dear friend Mary Margaret had very much the same story. I just love it. So thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, Beth. Yeah, uh, I think uh, a book should be written called I Got My Life Back. <clears throat> It's true. <laughs> a book filled with ASEA stories. That's a very common statement that we hear all the time. I got my life back. And how important is that? There isn't anything more important than that. Okay. And now we're going to go to Boston, Massachusetts. Actually, where are you, Megan? Not Boston. You're in right Watertown. Watertown. Watertown, Massachusetts. Megan is staying with some friends. Uh, she'll be back here tomorrow, and she is going to share a testimonial tonight. I will, but I am wondering if this is Hank and Kathleen Means that's on our, because I was going to share your story. <laughs> uh, please do. <laughs> well, let me tell you why I was going to share your story, because the friend that I'm staying with, we introduced him the other night. Um, to this breakthrough Zoom. We had one on Zoom. His name is Kevin. And I had been looking at 
Redox experiences and I found your story. I've also heard it on um, the charge up call and I had remembered it and I thought, oh gosh, I hadn't written it down. And I thought, oh gosh, maybe it's on Redox experiences and I found it. And so we've been kind of involved with him all day long. And then I thought, well, why not share his story? But Nick, if you'd like to share your own story, please go ahead. I mean, what an incredible coincidence. Isn't it? Yeah. There are no coincidences. There yeah. are no coincidences. Yeah. Yeah. See if, if Martine is available. Yeah, Megan, see if Martine is available. Yeah, just, hey, can you hey, hold, hold on a second. So, um, so yeah, last night, Megan is staying with our friends, our friends, Bart and Martine Goldberg in Watertown, Massachusetts. And yesterday evening, we did this very same Zoom presentation, What is the ASEA Breakthrough? for Martin's friend, Kevin, who recently had a stroke. And so he's still struggling. He's, he's, he's doing much better, of course. And he's a young man. I think he's only in his 40s. Um, so, of course, you know, without making any claims, we said that, you know, this is, you know, the consequence of your stroke is you have a lot of damaged cells. And so just from that perspective, this is something that we're all very hopeful. We've seen many other people improve. And at that time, I, I hadn't um, connected with your story, Hank, but Megan found it, and so she was all excited to share it with Kevin. And mm -hmm. she called me about an hour and a half ago and said, I'm going to share Hank's story tonight on the, charge, on the uh, Zoom call. And here you are. So please. Wow, go. Wow, okay. So, sorry, just wait another second until Megan comes back with Martine because sure. Martine will then be able to directly share with Kevin. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry I disconnected us. I have to go get Martine now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Martin, well, I will. Fill in the dead air. <laughs> Is this what you call dead air? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So uh, I'll tell a quick story. So I introduced Asia to a friend in Boston named Shannon uh, about two months ago. Wow. And. Oh, all right, hold on. hold on. Megan's back. Hold on. Uh, Megan, hold on. I, I muted you. Oh. All right, so Megan, introduce Martine, and then we'll go to Hank. All right, this is uh, Anne Martine Goldberg, and it is her friend, uh, Kevin, who we were Zooming with the other night. And Martine, this is Hank and Kathleen, and Hank is the man that I've been telling you about. Hello. <laughs> nice meeting you all. Emma, Emma. All right, Hank, goes, go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm very happy to be alive and well and be able to be on the Zoom call. Um, thank you very much. Uh, well, it started out in 1990. I had a uh, was called sudden death heart attack. I uh, was down and out without a heartbeat for over nine minutes. And uh, when they finally brought me back, uh, I experienced some uh, severe brain fog. So I had that for over 23 and a half years before ASEA came along. And uh, after about six weeks, I, uh, I boosted up my intake of ASEA to eight ounces and it only took four days from that point. All of a sudden, I just woke up. I, I mean, like, bang. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's part of it. <clears throat> and then... Uh, Back in uh, 99, I had a four-way bypass, and then uh, yeah. everything was fine for a while. That was mm -hmm. Yeah, he was 40 with yeah. the sudden death, yeah. 49 years at the quadruple uh, um, bypass. Yeah. And, okay. So it doesn't just happen to old people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And you so, look amazing. Uh, well, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a sea of God and Kathleen. <laughs> Not necessarily. God, God, Kathleen, and Asia. Excuse me. God, yeah. Asia. And I just, <laughs> anyway, it's okay. I'm wasting time. Yeah. But um, anyway, a uh, little over two years ago, uh, middle of the night, I lost, uh, I lost the function of my right leg, um, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to say God carried me into the bedroom where Kathleen was because I don't remember getting there. So uh, I actually wound up landing on the bed, waking up Kathleen. I could not speak, and uh, 
I had very little uh, function. I could barely hang onto the bed. So I, uh, but uh, Kathleen knew that I was in trouble and she grabbed the spray bottle and sprayed me in the eyes and uh, with the ASEA. Yeah, we had the little spray bottle. There you go. And uh, just a few sprays, and all of a sudden, I woke up from that, and I was able to uh, hold the little cup, the two-ounce cup, and drink three of those, so six ounces. And by the time the paramedics got there, I was able to stand up, talk, and uh, everything was fine for a while until I got to the hospital uh, the next night, and then I had a full-blown stroke. So uh, I lost the entire right side, my right arm, my right leg, and my, my face was drooping down. Um, I couldn't swallow so the whole work, so it was interesting. I have some videos on Facebook that show my progress. So um, anyway, now I'm almost, not quite 100%. I'd say I'm in the 80s. I, I can uh, raise my arm up. I, I'm getting more strength all the time. Um, oh, and, and one thing is really cool. When, they, when, they, when I had the stroke in the hospital, they did a, a, a series of tests. One of them is the uh, cardiac uh, see, echocardiogram. echocardiogram. It shows the, uh, the damage on the heart muscle. The previous one I had seen uh, back about the day of the bypass was the oh lower, third, lower third of my heart was damaged. It was gray. On the day of the stroke, it was 10%. And a year later, when they did a follow-up test, it was zero. And so uh, the only thing that had changed was ASEA. It didn't, it helped my body heal the heart. Hmm. Tell them how they were. Well, maybe, you them. know, once uh, my friend is, uh, you know, started with ASEA, mm -hmm. maybe if you would be willing connect with him via Zoom certainly and tell him yeah. your story because uh, he's, happy to um, yeah you know he's at the stage where uh, he's doing all the PT but his left arm is still not yeah it know, took uh, quite a very, yeah. yeah so it, but he's uh, it took a long time even with his, his, yeah so I, yeah I'm thinking, this weekend uh, we'll get yeah. it going I'm taking uh, two ounces every two hours. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay. And you were putting Renew on your, on your skull? Yeah, I, had, yeah, I uh, shaved my head for almost a year, put Renew on it to get it as, in as many spots as I could. So get the brain, get those gray cells going again. You didn't want your hair to grow again, right? <laughs> I didn't want to waste. I didn't want to waste it on the little hair I had. So. Yeah, his health really, problems. I, I might do that, Hank. That's a good idea. What's really amazing? His carotid arteries were clear. Mm -hmm. The two arteries coming up the back of the neck, going into the brain, were clear. Mm -hmm. And they were so disappointed. I said, "I'm sorry. He's disappointed you." <laughs> this is two doctors. Yeah, because they just wanted to have an easy fix, like you know, have a stent. Mm -hmm. All is good, but what had happened, and they were concerned about his heart because of his bypass. But it was strong. Well, it, the see, the Scott is amazing. <laughs> his heart had improved; it could withstand the extra strength, strength it yeah. needed to get him through the severe stroke and what had happened a little itty bitty grain size of a plaque just worked its way deep down in his brain that's all it was everything else was clear but what he needed was a very strong heart to take that pressure and he told me not during that time but maybe about it was just a last ago. a week ago <laughs> and if something doesn't kill my mic uh, he says I was feeling the extra pressure on my heart, and I'm going really. But it was I, only it was yeah. only pressure. That wasn't anything it's just, serious. He knew it was on yeah. extra duty, yeah. mm -hmm. and the this is amazing because we're going. Oh my gosh, why is throat? We're doing this to see you, and but it made the heart healthy again. The cellular that got rid of all the um, unhealthy muscle tissue. Um, 
it strengthened it for when he had this other situation. And wow, what a reason to understand why he had to have the ASEA before. This really weird thing that happened. And he's here to tell the story, and he shouldn't be, even this time. And his recovery is remarkable because he's driving, he's walking, he's you know speaking fairly well. His cognitive was amazing. That did not skip a beat. Mm -hmm. He was very alert, and we gave him the ASEA while he was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And as the caretaker, I was taking more, and I was at a homeostasis. My emotions were so good. Um, it was just an amazing thing and him getting through his brain issue after 23 and a half years and for me after my auto accident six and a half years so it's never too late no no <laughs> it's just yeah. it works whenever you take it yeah <laughs> well, thank, thank, you. So. thank you very much to you. thank uh, you for sharing thank Welcome. you so much you, you, you have made very tonight, timely you have made tonight <laughs> zoom one of the most amazing uh webinars we've had in a long time so thank you very much for being with us tonight well We're thank you for letting day. us happy come on we appreciate you all yeah. I don't know and we we'll reach out through with megan and russell when my yeah. you know okay. set okay. yeah that's, that's great thank you uh, beth go ahead oh yes i just want to say something to kathleen and hank i have been following you on on um facebook it just i don't get on very often but whenever your pictures pop up hank i cannot believe you're sitting there talking to us you know i i kathleen put pictures on of you sitting attached to all the tubes in your hospital room and i just can't believe it in such a short period of time i'm so impressed thank you so much for sharing with us we're delighted you're here had a lot of help. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and it's sure. it's the the quality of life given back. Mm -hmm. I never thought he, I would have him back. Or it's <laughs> not easy to live with someone in that condition, sure. with brain fog. And uh, it's mm -hmm. we just praise. I hope it's okay. We just praise God for <clears throat> allowing the discovery to. I mean, He just made a mm -hmm. wonderfully made body in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, we're forever grateful. Yeah, Kathleen, it's absolutely okay to praise God. If it ever turns, if we ever come to a situation where it's not okay to praise God, then um, mm. we'll have to find another planet or something. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, um, let, me, let, uh, let me end tonight's um, presentation on, on, a, on a note. And I've heard, I've heard Virtus Norton who, the founder of our company, who, uh, I don't know if Bert has said it this way or his son Tyler said it this way, but I have in my mind that of all the people on planet Earth, God reached out and put his hand on Virtus's shoulder and chose Virtus as the person to bring this incredible breakthrough into the world, into humanity. And we're all benefiting from that. And there's no doubt in my mind, there has been no doubt in my mind from day one that this is a divinely inspired thing that has happened. All health is. All health practitioners know this, that they're working to help people heal. It's not just physical health that we're talking about. And when you, anyway, so just, that, just that image of God reaching down and touching Virtus on the shoulder and then these people, Tyler Norton and all the people at ASEA, everyone stewards this breakthrough technology. Everyone caretakes this technology with exquisite care because they really know what we have here. And so thank you again, everyone who shared tonight. We really do have a responsibility to share this with people. There are people everywhere in the world right now who are on their knees morning and night, asking God to send them something to help to heal their bodies. And this is something very significant that can help everyone. So thank you all very much. And we will be back next Thursday night at the same time in the same channel. And I think um, the last thing to share is simply that at <clears> – <throat>
8.30 and 9.30? Yes, 8.30 and 9.30 in the Eastern time zone is this is a SIA inside the house expert. This week it's uh, Chuck and Tammy Gapes who will be doing a live uh, presentation. Uh, go to www.thisisasia.com and it's all streaming live on Facebook. Um, Mary Margaret or Beth, do you have that information about how to access Facebook or Megan? Sorry, Russell. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> So just go to thisisasia.com if you'd like to check into that presentation. But it starts in tw 12 minutes. Well, no, I, yeah. I, I, uh, it's what? 7.30. It's seven, oh, 7.30 and 9.30? Yeah. 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 Okay, all right. My, my apologies. All right, well, thank you again, everyone, and I'll just say good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, thank you. Thanks, everyone. That was amazing. Good night, Mary. Good night. Good night. Good night, Sylvia Ann. Good night, Sue. Megan, we're out in California, just so you know, Pacific time. Okay. Oh, thank okay. you. I got your okay, number. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone.